Hello and welcome to another V-Cross unboxing, finally with the English version of P14, a Fessona Diva with Denombu. Uh, Denombu, I probably pronounce it wrong, but it's like a, a music group club, as far as I know, like an like a idol group, some kind of anime idols. Uh, not really into that, but uh, yeah, it's some kind of swimsuit beach set. Uh, when the the Japanese version released like a year ago, I wasn't able to pre-order this, so I was only able to open nice, uh, only uh, able to open two Japanese boxes uh, because I missed the pre-order, and then this it sold out pretty fast and just never really came back in stock. So yeah. Really, really happy that I finally get my hands on more product. And we get one box top and I hope I don't damage it. So it's basically a sleeve with a with a frame. Yeah. And the Piro look. Level zero. And yeah, there are a lot of uh, like beach or swimsuit themed uh, characters in this set next to the Denonbu characters. And yeah, let's let's see what we got. I I got some more boxes, of course. And I will I don't know, maybe I will do a live stream tomorrow or in one week. I haven't decided yet, or I I actually don't know if I have the time tomorrow. But you should follow me on Instagram or you should look at the community tab. I usually uh share announcement in on YouTube and the community tab too. So yeah, let's see. So these are the Denonbu characters. Aki Shirokane. They have some very nice designs. Yeah, Yuka Miu. And yeah, in the past, ooh, in the past uh, sets of V-Cross, I, I didn't build a deck with the new characters because I was quite unlucky with the playable stable cards you need. And it's not so easy to buy, uh, to buy single cards here in Gen Germany. But I hope I get now enough cards or I have enough pulls for a new deck build with some of the new Santa Elrics. We have the Assist Mama Happy. Beautiful character, beautiful foiling. And that's really nice with the, with the English release that we get a foil card in every pack not the same in the Japanese release. So this inner charge one and you get coins. So coins are again relevant. I think the last time really coins matter was set number nine. Uh, a spell craft. Oh yeah, this is something I have to look more into again too. This spell can't be used from your Elric deck doing your main phase. Spells that are craft are removed from the game after they are used. Yeah. Okay, and on the back. So you probably get this spell when you play the the center level three, I would guess. Milolun slash, oh that's a cute artwork. Vanish target level two or less seeking on your opponent's field. A vanish effect on a blue assist. It's not very common. I think usually blue does like card draw or put uh, put signies under the deck. But vanishing. And MC Lion, very nice. Mama defense. And we get the piece for the cost of three. Put up to three target Denonbu signy from your trash onto your field. Oh, okay. Uh, if your center Elric is level 3 or more, during your opponent's next turn, Denombo Signy on your field gains shadow. That's nice. I don't know how competitive like the Denombo decks are. I haven't looked. In, in the past weeks or month, I haven't really looked at deck lists. Usually, I... I did this in the past, but in the past weeks I didn't have the time so much and yeah, I was just busy. 
So I'm not really uh, informed about the, the deck builds, especially like what's the the meta with these uh, center Elrics. Since there's like not really a, not at all a competitive scene in Germany, so you can play on Discord and stuff, but you you cannot really compete in tournaments. So we have Ray as the first super rare, level 3 Signy. At the beginning of your attack phase, if there are two or more Elric that share a color on your field, you may pay one blue and discard two cards. If you do, put target Signy on your opponent's field on the bottom of its owner deck. Yeah, as I said, uh, usually blue puts stuff under the deck. And the spell burst, put target up Signy on your opponent's field on the bottom of its owner deck. Yeah, the restriction of that the Signy has to be up is not that nice. I don't really think this is a super strong... I mean, it's an auto ability, so you could do this multiple times if she stays on the field, but she only has 10k power, so for level 3 Signy, she is not really strong. So she tends to uh, get removed when your opponent is attacking. Mordenombu, Elric Barrier, Akino, level 3. Did I talk over another Elric level 3? I don't think so. Uh, auto ability, at the beginning of your attack phase, if there is a Denonbu Signy on your field, draw a card. And once per turn, target Denonbu Signy on your field gets plus 3000 power until end of your opponent's next end phase. That's kind of mid. And exceed 4. Reveal two different Person Magic Croft and add them to your Elric deck. Oh yeah, this, this is like the, the Croft spell. Yeah, but I'm not really like this. I don't think I will want to build a... I want to build a deck with this one. Like, usually buffing your big knees, like giving them more power is more common in green and it it doesn't do a lot for itself like when you have uh, what was it lancer was it lancer i think it's lancer uh, to destroy um, not only the signy but also like the the life burst oh that's cute what is this? Looks like it was ripped apart and then stitched again together. So like a gothic spooky vibe. La Laru Fesson Aya. Okay, what a nice... That's a nice uh, artwork. Really pretty. Guzuko. Put target Signy from your trash onto your field. Then target Signy on your opponent's field gets... Minus power equal to the power of the Signy put onto the field this way until end of turn. Okay. Only main phase, but the artwork is just, it deserves a sleeve. And we have another level 3 Elric. Uh, during your turn, when the power of a Signy on your opponent's field becomes zero or less, target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 5k power until end of turn. Oh, but it's only once per turn. I was thinking like maybe you can do this multiple times. Like if one minus, then this triggers and this triggering gives another one uh, zero power and then it triggers again, but it's just once per turn. Enter. Each player puts the top five cards of the deck into their trash. So it's self mill and opponent mill. Exceed four. Reveal two different Fesson Magic Croft. Okay, so the... I guess... They all have the same Exceed 4 ability to get the craft cards. Yeah, I I tend to... Like, this sounds... To me, it sounds more interesting than the... Uh, what was it? Akino? The Akino level 3. Rave up. Servant. Yuka Yuka. N. Longing Likeness. 
Tamakogane and okay. A Signy Barrier and Foil, that's pretty. Oh, but they cut off a uh, ray. Yeah, it's a ray. From a from a box opening experience, I really enjoy V Cross the most. I, I said it before, like the high rarities in Villains of Enemy X, they are from another level, but overall box opening experience is so nice with V Cross. Getting the, the foil card in every pack and getting so many nice cards. Uh, level 0, Urit. The Stone Black Magic. That's another very cool artwork. And at least in Vicross, they don't have all these. Uh, ooh, all these uh, dragons or Transformers characters like in Zillions of Enemies. Oh, that's a pretty Miluloon. Especially the level zeros and, I mean, all getting Elrics in foil is so nice. And I already pulled quite a few of them. Key. Dinonbu, but yeah, there are so many Dinonbu characters, which is of course nice since you need them for playing Musica. And I think it's only this set. I don't think in the next set we will get more support for the Dinonbu. Happiness Float. You have the three Elric on your field with three or more different colors. And choose one of the following. Put up to two target Signy from an Enerzon onto your field. All Signy on your field gains S lands until the end of turn. All Signy, not only the two. Shuffle all cards in your trash into your deck and I charge two for each of your center Elric's levels. The, the S Lancer effect sounds good. Maybe it's just my my lack of competitive knowledge, but for two Anna, like one queen, one colorless, giving three Signy's uh, S Lancer sounds pretty nice. To me. Dinambulus. She's cute too. Akino bound for brilliance. Level 2. And Yuka Yuka. As a foil. So I think it was already now half of the box. We haven't pulled so far. Our guaranteed LR. I, I hope for a pure look. LR. From this set, she is my favorite. Mama attack, another nice assist mama artwork. The foiling is so good. You can even see the, the highlights in the trash. Mama attack, Van vanish target level 2 or more Signy on your opponent's field. And it costs nothing, but only in our main phase. That's quite quite good too. Level two or more. Yeah, I I haven't built a, a deck so far with Mama, but I from the design I would really like. It's just that I haven't really found a strong way to build it. Uh, Milurun threaten assist down target Signy on your opponent's field. If your opponent has used a spell this turn, instead vanish it. Oh, it, you, and you can, of course, play it in the attack phase. Not bad. For free. The number foil. Foil character. Level 2, 5000. At the beginning of your attack phase, if there is another Denombu Signy on your field, you may put a Denombu Signy from your Enerzone into your trash. If you do, return target level 1 Signy on your opponent's field into its owner's hand. Yeah, bounce effects are nice too, because you don't give your opponent Enner. Like when you vanish, you give your opponent um, basically mana to play out there their cards, but if you bounce things, it's annoying your opponent sometimes, because he, he needs like the Enner. 
remember super rare. My my luck with remember in the past. There is a was it set six? I remember that's like blade and a lot of decks, and I just never pulled it for my four or five boxes. Uh, Galactic Queen. Whenever the Signy attacks, if there are a total of three or more frozen Elric and Signy on your opponent's field, you may pay three. If you do, the Signy gains Assassin. Or oh, getting Assassin in, in this color is very unusual. Enter freeze target Elric on your opponent's field that is not their center Elric. So you just freeze it for the for the auto ability. I don't think that it really affects assist Elric. I mean, like sometimes you have um, you have to tap your center and uh, no, your assist Elric to get something, or like to to pay for effects on the cards. And the action one per turn down and up Signy, freeze target Signy on your opponent's field. Sounds good, but I guess you have to really build around it. I wanted to, to build a freeze deck for a long time, but uh, I always had the color blue in mind for freeze effects and stuff, but Maybe this is a nice addition. I have to look up maybe uh, Japanese uh, Japanese deck lists if there is a viable way to build this. And we get the LR. It's Yusuke. Ah, she's not my she's not my favorite, but it's a very pretty card. Level two center. The gold effect in the in the volume speakers like it looks super cool. But yeah, if you want to, to buy your V-Cross boxes or some other TCGs, like my partner store, Pokeboo, has a lot in, in store. And if it's not in store, like you can always text him and ask if he can order something for you. And yeah, for your order, you can use the code VEEPSAFE5 and you get 5% off. And yeah, like I I order all my V-Cross from, from my partner store, of course. and Really, really happy with my with my luck in the past. Like maybe if you have watched my my live stream, my I, my latest English V Cross live stream was so good. I I only you know, opened like one box from one set, and I got of course the SRP, which is pretty rare. And we get another uh, piece. Is this something new? I was expecting you only get two pieces per box. Or maybe you can sometimes get three, I guess. Uh, for the cost of one, only one piece with team or team team. Did, 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 did. Choose one of the following. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add up to two cards from among them to your hand and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Gain a Signy barrier. Read. Put target Signy on your opponent's feet into its owner's trash. Gain Elric barrier. That's also. Not bad for one Anna. Oh, so you can either get man, I sometimes when I read the, the cards out loud I don't really uh get what I'm reading. I don't know, maybe it's because it's in, in English and English is not my main language, so I am more focused on reading and then I'm not really getting the words. Oh that's a cute Milaloon. But uh yeah, getting a Signy barrier or an Elric barrier is very nice. We have Hanare, type 3. Super rare. The power of a Signy on your opponent's field cannot be blasted by your opponent's constant ability effects. Okay. At the beginning of your attack phase, if there are 10 or more cards in your trash, you may pay one black, and if you do, all Signy on your opponent's feet get minus 3000 power until end of turn. Yeah, not. don't really know how relevant the constant effect is. 
In the past, there were many cards, especially in the, I think in the Nichi Sanji set, there were like cards that cared about other Nichi Sanji cards and um, they buffed each other. But I don't know how relevant uh, or how many current decks are still playing uh, with cards that have de these effects. And we have Mew, Phantom Insect, Signy level 2. Your opponent cannot put a level 3 or more Signy into their center Signy zone. And you can tap it. Target Signy on your opponent's feet gets minus 2000 power until end of turn. That's a cute artwork. Mitsuki Seto again. Okay, we get feet. <laughs> Interesting. Akino, Bound for Resolve, Yusuki, Wet, Surf Flame, and another Super Rare, and Dona Fesson, Phantom Spirit, Green, with all the, uh, like, a Diabetes Queen, with the, <laughs> uh, with the Donuts. During your opponent's turn, as long as the Signy is awakened, it gains Shadow. Whenever the Signy attacks, you may pay 2 Enner. If you do, add target Signy from your trash to your hand. Enter down to Abd Elric, awaken the Signy. So yeah, this is like what I said with the other, uh, with the remember that sometimes you have to down your, your uh, assist Elrics. Now you have to awaken this and then it has shadow. And once per turn you can pay two coins. Oh, this is now the, the second time only that I read something with coins, or at least like in the super rares. Uh, you can draw a card for paying two coins. Mm, another craft card. And the number Seto. Two more packs. And yeah, as I said, I, I will open more from this set. So if you want to see more, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, look out for, for my live streams. Kuzoko Punishment. Miko Miko Neto Bacteria. <laughs> and that's not a appealing name. Last pack for this uh, unboxing. And there's one, I think there's a SP that would be amazing to pull. Please. <laughs> I mean, I have a few more boxes, but never pulled a SP before. But we end up with a Awakening Fever. And I really, I didn't really pull the, the Pyrolog Center, right? Or have I missed it? I don't know, I have to sort it. So yeah, thanks for watching. For more unboxings, please check out my channel. and. See you in my next unboxing or live stream. Bye.